four sections in, we'll finally start with the drawing tools, and for that we'll need to make a new level. <clears throat> so to make a new level, I'm going to click File, New Level, and that brings up the New Level panel. Uh, most of the default settings here should be fine, but one thing we'll want to enter manually is a name for our level. Uh, if OpenTunes names levels automatically, they just go A, B, C, D, and it becomes hard to tell what's what. So I'm going to call this level first GIF Drawings. Uh, the other settings should all be fine, but make sure that type is set to Tunes Vector. In the future, we might talk about some of the other options here, but for right now, Tunes Vector Level is what we want. So with all that confirmed, click OK to make the level. And when you do, note a few things have appeared. Uh, down in the level palette, we now have black and white swatches, and that black is what our brush tool will draw with automatically. Over in the level strip, note we've got a new thumbnail for the first drawing in our level, currently blank. And over in the X sheet, this block means that our first drawing has automatically been placed in our animation. These numbers in the X sheet indicate frame numbers for our animation, so this block means that our first drawing has automatically been placed on frame one. All right, I'm gonna demo some tools. The hotkeys are listed here and I'll announce them as I use them. All right, first for navigating around in the viewer, if you press and hold space, you can use the hand tool to drag your canvas around. When we're zoomed in this close, it's kind of hard to see that happening. So to zoom out, you can press and hold shift plus space and then click and drag down to zoom out or up to zoom in. When we're pulled back like this, this white rectangle is going to be the canvas that we're working in, and note it has a little animation desk design around it, so that's cute. Once we've got our canvas in view like this, let's do a quick test drawing. So I'm going to tap B to switch to my brush tool, and then I'll do a line, a line, a line, and a happy face. All right, before we go any further, let's take a look at the brush tool settings up at the top of the screen. Size, min, and max will determine the thickness of our brush strokes. If you've got pressure sensitivity, your brush stroke will range from the minimum value to the max. If you don't have pressure sensitivity, it'll just be that maximum thickness. Uh, you can change these values by clicking and dragging on the sliders here, or by clicking on the fields and entering numbers that way. So here's an example with a thicker stroke there. For today's exercise, I'm just gonna go back to that default one to five range. Then accuracy here, uh, we will talk about this more in a future video about vector brush strokes. For right now, just know that leaving it at 20 should be fine. Finally, smooth over here. When drawing digitally, it is natural for there to be a little bit of a wobble that you might not want. If you increase this smooth value, that can help get rid of that with new brush strokes that you're drawing. But be wary of setting this value too high. If you go too high with it, it starts working against you with open tunes, overcorrecting lines that you might want to come out curvier. If you're ever trying to draw and you feel like open tunes is changing your lines too much, check on this smooth value and see if reducing it helps. I like to set it at about five when I'm working. All right, once we've got some brush strokes in place, let's talk about how to select them. I'm gonna tap S to switch over to my select tool. And then I can click on brush strokes to select them individually. I can press and hold shift to add more strokes to my selection, or I can click and drag to do a marquee selection. With that marquee, it is rectangular by default, but if you click on this drop down menu in the upper left, you can change that to freehand, which I prefer. That lets you draw the shape of your own marquee. Once you've got brush strokes selected, you can click and drag on the strokes themselves to move them around. You can click and drag on these control points to scale, or you can click and drag just outside of the corners to rotate. A couple things to note, if you've worked in Toon Boom, it might be in your muscle memory that a marquee only has to overlap with a stroke to select it. That's not the case in Open Tunes. In Open Tunes, your marquee needs to go all the way around a stroke to get it selected. Uh, honestly, there are pros and cons for either approach there. A bigger issue is that if you've got a selection and then you use either the hand tool or the zoom tool to navigate, uh, note that makes you lose your selection and hitting control Z to undo doesn't get your selection back. It just undoes whatever transformation you last applied. So that's not ideal. There are some posts on GitHub with users asking the developers to change this. 
in the meantime, it's definitely something to be aware of. So this has been fun, but it's not what I want to animate. So let's talk about how to delete selections. Uh, the hotkeys for deleting are a little particular. On Windows, to delete a selection in OpenTunes, you have to use the delete key. Be aware that the backspace key doesn't do the trick, so be sure to use delete. On Mac, if you're on a laptop, it gets a little trickier. Uh, I believe it's supposed to be the backspace key, not delete, that deletes things in OpenTunes. And my Mac doesn't have a backspace key. Uh, what does work for me is to hold the function key and then press delete. If you're in the same boat, you can remember this as fn delete. Uh, so, since I am demoing in Windows here, to wipe out these brush strokes, I'm going to select them all. Remember, backspace doesn't work, so I'm going to hit delete to wipe them out. Now we're back to a blank canvas to animate on for real. <clears throat> One final word of warning. Uh, if you click on the thumbnail for your drawing in your level strip, that will isolate just the drawing without the canvas. And if your drawing is blank, that means you end up in this gray void where you can't really tell where you are. To get your canvas back, you'll want to click on the cell in the X sheet that contains a drawing. And now we're back to our canvas. So keep that in mind. If you end up in this gray void, click on the cell in the X sheet. <clears throat> One tool I did not demo is the eraser. Uh, if you've used other digital art software, you might find the eraser in OpenTunes a little bit odd. Uh, in a future video, I'll talk about how vector strokes work, why the eraser is the way it is, and what other options you have for refining line work. But for right now, I recommend just not using the eraser. Uh, since we're just experimenting, don't worry too much about making your lines perfect. So, now we're familiar with some drawing tools, and we're back to a blank canvas. Next up, we'll actually draw a character and add some frames. I hope you find these videos helpful, and if so, subscribe for more tutorials and check out thundercluck.com, especially if you have any young readers or fans of animation in your life. Thanks for watching.